Let us pray. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name, for the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name, for the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name, for the Lord is good. Father Almighty, we want to sing unto you a joyful song. We want to praise your name for you are a good God. Thank you very, very much for the salvation of our soul. Thank you for the price you paid by shedding your blood. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us alive and well to witness, Lord God Almighty, another youth convention. Glory be to your holy name. Father, please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. And as we approach your table tonight to dine with you, we ask the Lord God Almighty that as we partake of your body and your blood, you will bring healings to us and you will empower us like never before with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm sure you know that our theme for the youth convention is the bright and morning star. And as we approach his table tonight, our text is going to be Matthew chapter 25, from verse 1 to 13. Matthew 25, from verse 1 to 13. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lambs and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lambs and took no oil with them. That actually means they took no extra oil with them. But the wife took oil in their vessels with their lambs. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, said, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Ah. I thank God that God has chosen this particular passage to talk to those of you, the youth and the young adults, and those of us who consider ourselves young. Because there is something there that I might not be able to dwell in too much in our discussion. That's the fact that he says, 
watch. But you don't know the hour when the Son of Man will come. There's always the tendency, this kind of feeling among young people, that they have eternity to decide for God. No, no, we are young. Young people don't think about death. And that's to be expected because they are strong, they are healthy. When God says, watch. When we were meeting last year during the youth convention, none of us knew then that this year our convention will be virtual. And but for the grace of the almighty God, but for the grace of the almighty God, many of us who are here today will not have been around now. We could be dead. The pandemic could have killed us all. It took the grace of the almighty God, the God who answers prayers that has kept those of us, particularly in the continent of Africa, alive to now, because we just didn't have what it takes to face the pandemic. Probably the only thing we could claim we have is God and some people who know how to pray. A bishop visited us from America not too long ago, and when he was explaining what was happening in New York at a particular time, when thousands were dying every day, I shivered. Because one of his members walking in the hospital told him that when they've been walking, 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 and they said, well, maybe let me go to the toilet to go and rest. Before they return from their ward, 10 people had already been moved out, dead. And each time somebody died on a bed, when they are moving him out, they move him out with the bed sheet. So the fellow said they were changing bed sheets almost every few minutes. And then I look at Nigeria, my blessed country. We do not have any resources to face this pandemic when it came. As a matter of fact, it's when it hit us hard that many of the isolation centers that have been forgotten, that we now began to rush to repair. And yet God spared us. I think God deserves praise for his mercy. But the point I'm making is we only know today only God knows tomorrow. Death is not a function of age. Sorry, maybe I'm speaking mathematically when I use that term. What I'm saying is death does not respect your age. It doesn't want to know whether you are young or you are old. When he wants to kill, it kills. But thank God there is a God who says, it's only those I kill that will die. Thank God that he told me loud and clear, and I remember I told you, it's only those who time has come this year that he were allowed to die in my nation. And I thank God for his faithfulness. But please let us, young ones, Stop taking the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ carelessly. He can return any moment. And when we are talking about his returning, he has returned for you the day you die. So if he doesn't come at your rapture, he can come to pick anybody from here. Now, 
Let's now come to the issue of the bride and morning star. For any lamp to shine at all, there must be oil in the lamp. That's crucial. You see, when the ten virgins were going, their lamps were burning because there was oil in the lamp. It was when the bridegroom tarried that the foolish one said to the wise ones, give us oil out of your oil, out of your extra oil, for our lamp has gone out. What does that mean? We've run out of oil. Exodus 27 verse 20. Exodus 27 verse 20 says, bring oil to cause the lamp to burn always. If the lamp is going to burn, there must be oil. To keep burning, as we see in this story, you must keep refilling. In Matthew 25 that we read, from verse 7 to 9, Matthew 25, 7 to 9, it, when the oil ran out, the light went out. You want the light to keep shining? You must keep on refilling with oil. I remember the advice a friend of mine, an elderly friend of mine, gave me the first time I bought a car. He came to congratulate me. He said, ah, my little friend, congratulations. You now are a car owner. He said, keep your eyes on the fuel gauge from now on. Because before now, you are riding in a taxi. <laughs> it's none of your business how the taxi works. You pay, you go. Now you own your car, keep your eyes on the fuel gauge. Otherwise, you will just be in the middle of the road and the car will stop, not because there's anything wrong with the engine, but because the tank is empty. Keep branching at fuel stations to refill, and he warned me, don't wait till the fuel tank says empty. Keep refilling. Keep refilling. That you spoke in tongues yesterday, you were full of the Holy Spirit yesterday, there's no excuse for not refilling today. It is what is in you that will determine how far you go. The African elders have a saying, it is what is inside the bird that the bird uses in flying. What is in you is what you are going to fly with. First King chapter 19, from verse 4 to 8. 1 Kings chapter 19, from verse 4 to 8, the Bible tells us, Elijah went in the strength of the meal, the two meals that he had taken, on the journey of 40 days and 40 nights. It is because there was something in him. The angel woke him up twice. First time he ate, the angel came and woke him the second time. and said, eat again, the journey is far. Let us agree you are young, you are strong. Let us agree that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God will hear my prayer over you and none of you will die young. That means you have a longer journey than those of us who are old. Some of us have been on this journey for quite a while. 
We are ready to go anytime God says come home. It will be a pleasure to go and rest now. But you are young. You are strong. You are just starting your life. You have a long journey ahead of you. Keep your tank full. And keep on refilling. And how do you do that? The Lord said in John chapter 6, verse 53 to 56, John 6, 53 to 56, he said, until you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life in you. But if you eat and keep eating, if you drink and you keep dry, drinking, you'll be shining till the last day. Romans chapter 8, verse 11. And with that, I'm closing. Romans 8, verse 11. says, If the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, then he that raised Jesus Christ from the dead will quicken your mortal bodies. <sighs> In John 14, verse 19. John 14, verse 19. He says, and this is my summary of it, as he lives, so shall you live. Know what that implies? As he shines, so shall you shine. Amen. Because he says, I am the light of the world, and he turns around to you and says, you are the light of the world. We come today to partake of his body for life, for health, for strength, and then to drink of his blood for power, for fire, so that we can begin to shine. You know the story of uh, Saul of Tarsus very well. After the bright morning star knocked him down on the road to Damascus, and he was in the house there fasting and praying, and God sent a man to him. And then I asked, go and lay your hands on this fellow. The man went there, laid his hand on him, so he can receive the Holy Spirit, so he can be set on fire. Then the Bible said, after that, he ate, so that he can receive strength. And when he had received strength, immediately, he began to preach Christ. Tonight you are coming to eat. That food will give you healing. It will give you health. It will give you strength. Then you are going to drink the wine. And that wine is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. Symbolic of fire. And the fire will jumpstart your lamp, and you begin to shine. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will be shining forever. Amen. And you will shine to bring other youth into the kingdom of God. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. So I want you to spend some time in prayer. Thank him that thus far he has helped you. And cry unto him for a new beginning, a brand new beginning. A new beginning of fire, a new beginning of power, a new beginning of anointing, a new beginning of strength, of health, a new beginning 
of an incurable desire to win souls. Talk to him about that. And if there's any of you listening to me who came maybe as a result of invitation of your friends and you are not yet born again, oh, please surrender your life to Jesus. He's willing to save your soul. He's willing to heal your body. He's willing to baptize you in the Holy Spirit. He's, big, he's willing to set you on fire for himself. So that very soon you too will be shining. So call on him and ask him to save your soul. And I will join you in prayer soon. Oh, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. My Father and my God, once again, I'm thanking you for yet another opportunity for your children to have their own convention. And I thank you for your word that has gone forth. And I'm thanking you for those that I may not even be able to see with my physical eyes, but who are there surrendering their lives to you. Please receive them. Save their souls. Let your blood wash away their sins. Let them become members of your kingdom. And Lord God Almighty, when you are setting every one of us on fire, set them on fire too. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, get ready now to come to the table of the Lord. These elements. Almighty, so mighty the Lord. That's what as we eat, we'll be healed. As we drink, we'll be set on fire fresh for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ, the very night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now, by extension, all the elements in your various centers have become anointed. As we eat the bread today, <clears throat> the Lord will increase your strength. And you will talk to him and say, Lord, please, make me whole. Make me strong so I can serve you better. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit.
In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And when you drink the wine today, we're going to cry unto the Almighty God and ask him to refill your lamp and set you on fire for him. Amen. You cry unto him that you want to be shining bright forever and that he will grant your request tonight. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had sobbed, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as soft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Father. Father, please refill my lamp. Keep me burning for you forever. Set me on fire fresh. So that I can be shining like the bright and morning star himself. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Set me on fire afresh. Fresh fire, Lord. Fresh fire from heaven. So that this day will mark another major turning point in my life. Let this day be like another day of Pentecost. For me and all your children, Lord, set us on fire for you, Father. Refill our land. Oh Lord, please do so. Ramoko shekere makotondra mahike kero moko shanta. The keke rundra makuronde kere moko shekere nde kere moko runde kere makashanta. Inde re moko rinke re makoshente re makakoto runde moko shanta. Set me on fire, Lord. Oh, Lord, let me burn for you brighter than ever before. Maybe hotter than ever before, Lord. Set me on fire for you. Rekeke rundre makakoto rundre mahekeke romoko shindra makarande moko runde moko shanta. Set me on fire for you, almighty God. Afresh. Pour fresh oil on me. Fresh fire of the Holy Spirit. I can serve you, Lord God Almighty, like never before. Thank you, my Father. Ranko ronde re moko sheke rende ke re moko tundre maka shanta. Enke rende re moko ronde ke re moko sheke rendra mahike keto ronde mo sheke nde makatanda. Thank you, my Father. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, thank you. Thank you for feeding us. Thank you for refilling our lamps. Lord, I pray that we will never be weak. Amen. We will never be tired. Amen. We will never be weary. Father, set us on fire afresh. Amen. Let us burn for you like never before. Amen. So that our light will shine. Amen. So bright that even during the daytime, they will see our star. Amen. And like never before, help us to win souls. Amen. Grant the request of your children. Amen. Every one of us, young and old, my Father and my God, Empower us afresh. Amen. Make us untouchable for the enemy. Amen. Thank you, my Father. You, In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you all.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord.